hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about who has their eyes on you, okay? So palm number one, you're going to be the red dog figurine. Pile number two, you're going to be the yellow dog figurine. And pile number three, you're going to be the blue, and this one is a bear, blue bear figurine. No, actually this one is the dog, sorry guys. <laughs> this one is the dog, okay, the blue dog figurine. Okay, so again, pile number one, red dog figurine. Pile number two, yellow dog figurine. And pile number three, blue dog figurine. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the dog figurine that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the red dog figurine and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you, my pile number one? What do we have here? We have six of cups. So this is not technically somebody from your past. This is somebody who feels like you guys have a past life connection, hence why they have their eyes on you. They want to explore those feelings further, okay? So this is somebody in your entourage. So we're gonna find out a little bit more on this person, but I'm getting it's not past, past person, like somebody that you are already acquainted with, okay? So who has... Who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you, my pal? Number one, we have the Page of Swords. Wow. We have, like, this looks like a student, scholar, somebody who just graduated. This person could be in school. They're definitely studying you with the books here. They're watching you online. This is somebody that you may have met in person but exchange like social media accounts social media information or maybe this person found you online after you giving them your name so who has their eyes okay we have the magician Gemini Virgo energy the king of cups okay cancer Pisces Scorpio energy and we have another card that flipped over knight of wands okay so aries leo sag yeah this person may have like i'm getting like all the elements in their chart because we have earth air water fire okay and air again plus water so this person definitely has magician like energy they're very skilled and talented they're a great communicator um i'm also gonna like with the king of cups this person is really good at concealing their emotions but with the knight of wands they could be adventurous or they may have i'm gonna like player tendencies they may not be a player but they may like to flirt 
um, they may like to entertain multiple people at once so like I said tendencies okay but they're single so this person feels like okay well I'm single I could do whatever I want we have the king of swords yeah this person's highly intelligent um, this person could also be a fashion designer I don't know why I'm getting that and I'm also getting like this person has a good balance of feminine and masculine energy because in this deck if you haven't watched my previous videos me using this deck it has five extra cards so the um, male archetype so the masculine archetype for like the emperor king of cups king of swords and so on and so forth they have a feminine archetype okay because this is the king of swords but it's a woman on the deck on the card sorry and the same thing for the king of cups okay so i'm getting like this person has a really good balance of feminine and masculine energy they're highly intuitive and intelligent so, wow yeah they have a lot of feminine energy within them and masculine because this is the king of wands but also the um, feminine archetype it's all the feminine archetypes okay we have the five of pentacles okay so this person they kind of feel left out in the cold you may have friend zoned this person as well but with the king of wands this is somebody who is flamboyant they may like the color red they may have a red sports car or that could be you but i'm getting like red is significant for you or this person like it could be their favorite color or when you met them, this person was wearing red. They're very bold. Um, I'm getting like eccentric as well, but I feel like you friend zoned them with the five of pentacles. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, we have the high priestess. See red again. Yeah, red is significant. With the high priestess, this person could have cancer in their chart. Highly intuitive. Um, they could be secretive at times. Yeah, this person uh, could be into tarot as well, or you could be into tarot, like like you're a tarot reader. This is what I'm getting with the high priestess, or this person is into it, okay? So who has their eyes on you? We have the chariot, cancer energy. This person may travel for work, so they may go to either different cities or different countries for work. This is somebody who's self-employed. I'm getting, they're not, um, yeah, I'm getting like um, freelancer, self-employed, or uh, business owner with the chariot. This person's always on the go, especially with the Knight of Wands. They are, um, I don't know why I heard self-indulge. They like to indulge in um, pleasure. We have four of swords. Uh, this person you see with the feathers and the woman resting on the moon I'm getting like this person uh, may sometimes have anxiety like they need downtime sometimes they may come off as being moody okay with the four swords so who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. This person has a lot of feelings for you. Those feelings um, developed over time. The more and more they got to know you because I'm getting you friends on this person. So you guys talk, maybe not on the regular basis, but at least once or twice a week. You guys see each other once or twice a week. So maybe you go to their business or they come to your business or they live in your neighborhood or you guys go to the same grocery store or something like that and you guys always bump into each other there's something familiar about the two of you or there's a place that you guys frequent um at the same time like you guys maybe have the same schedule or like i'm also getting like jogging so if you jog in the morning i feel like this person jogs around the same time as you and this is how you guys like cross path i'm getting like a park and like it's like morning like between six and eight this is what I'm getting here. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, this person is definitely studying you. They're extremely wise. And I'm getting like, like I said, they have player tendencies. But actually this person, whenever they're in a relationship, they're extremely serious with the Hierophant. They have Taurus. They may have Taurus in their chart. Cancer, Gemini, Virgo. Cancer twice. Because we have Cancer here. Okay. And Cancer here. 
so i'm really getting like this person yeah they are extremely intelligent they're a wise counselor they could be um an influencer too they may have like an online presence who has their eyes on you my pal number one who has their eyes on you yeah i feel like you guys see each other while you're jogging i keep getting that vision somebody jogging and this person's coming from the opposite direction and you guys may like chat for a couple of minutes and then go about your your day this person i'm getting like they have um your bods uh your bods <laughs> your pods <laughs> and like i'm getting like this person like they're consistent with their jogging i feel like they jog every day while you may jog every other day or three times a week or something like that but i feel like this person is consistent with their jogging it's part of their morning routine we have the knight of cups this person is extremely romantic i'm getting like flirtatious as well this is like the vibe that i'm getting but you see eight of pentacles this is somebody who is very skilled and talented uh discipline dedicated this is what i'm getting like this person jogs every day at the same time like clockwork this person if they jog they may start at six and end at seven or something like that like this person is very consistent with their routine they're consistent with um, their work they have a set schedule and um they do things like you know every minute of the day is accounted for something okay i'm, I'm getting like this person is extremely disciplined yeah we have the sun leo energy they could be popular too um but i did say fashion designer and we have the sun here leo energy leo is the fashionista of the zodiac so i'm getting like this person has a really a great sense of fashion as well but they have a, like a positive attitude yeah they're extremely creative ace of wands they're very sexy too like very good looking and this is why like maybe you friend zone them because you're like okay this person is too flirtatious or too like i don't know i'm getting like just it could be like friendly but i feel like this person i don't know how to explain it but it's just like there's something about them that you know you feel like they're always flirting but with just everyone but i feel like that's just how they talk that's just how they are they could be i don't know why i'm getting like spain or italy like maybe this person that's their background they may be half spanish or something like that or half italian like i'm getting like this person might be mixed okay and or they grew up in italy or they grew up in spain but they have like this flirtatious thing about them that <laughs> i think it's just like they're just that's just how they are but it comes off like they're flirting with everyone okay but i don't know why i'm getting spain or italy yeah this person seven of pentacles they are extremely patient but you see the devil came out too i'm telling you this person is extremely sexy they are tempting but they are also disciplined with the devil driven focused like i said that clockwork type of like schedule capricorns are like that and that's what i'm getting here this person has that structure and discipline type of energy about them but they're also flirtatious okay but it's just a natural thing it's not forced they're not doing it on purpose or they're trying they're not doing it to get something out of you that's just how they are so who has their eyes on you who has their eyes on you yeah we have the high priestess okay yeah this person's trying to keep this a secret but highly intuitive yeah we have the strength card leo energy they're courageous they're very strong like a strong character this is not somebody who gets easily um um annoyed or easily um offended okay they have a calm cool collected um composure disposition about them we have the six of pentacles this person's generous as well very giving they have a loving energy but just like a lot of flirtatious like you know i'm getting like i don't know why i just heard salsa that's why i'm getting like spanish guys they don't have to be from spain they could be like um portuguese as well or like caribbean like you know uh cuban or something like you know something spicy i don't know why i'm getting that guys 
we have the star this person could be popular like I, I did say that popular but there's a sense of originality about this person like they're or Puerto Rican okay like I'm, I'm that's what I'm getting maybe like um, maybe one of their parents is Puerto Rican one of their parents is like from Honduras El Salvador something like that that's what I'm getting like a Latin background okay or Dominican or Haitian I'm getting like uh, like um, even Caribbean okay so all the other islands So who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, we have the hair font again, guys. Like this person's traditional. So that means they really follow their culture. They're cultural. This is why I'm getting like this person could be a foreigner. So who has their eyes on you? Ooh, we have the Empress. This person is very good looking extremely attractive and creative okay with the empress and the hair font so they may have taurus energy libra energy aquarius like this person has a beautiful vibe to them and people are very drawn to them as well but this person is traditional so if it's a man they like to chase they like to pick they like to pursue okay and if it's a woman she will put herself in a position to be pursued but she's not going to upright tell you oh i like you or i want to date you this person is gonna you know let it put themselves out there and let it be known that they're interested but they're not gonna make the move to the first move this is what i'm getting here okay but you friend zone them because i feel like the flirtatious part maybe this is where you're like oh my god i feel like this person might be a player but they're not i'm getting like they're not it's just their culture okay so we're going to use the um, astro dice to get a little bit more information on this person. Okay. So the sign, it could be your sign or this person's sign. Okay. So who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? Okay, so we have, wow, Leo, Sun, and fourth house, Cancer's house. So this person could be Leo, Cancer, Cuss, or they could just have a Leo, Sun, and we have Leo twice. Guys, yeah, this person has this strong personality, or that could be you, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pile number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the yellow dog figurine. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous spa or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two. Who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you, my pal number two? Okay, so we have the magician. This person could be a Gemini or Virgo. This person is highly skilled um, when it comes to, I'm getting like communication, creativity, but they could also be emotionally manipulative. So who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? 
we have the Emperor Aries energy this person could be a boss it could be a CEO uh, entrepreneur I'm getting this person could be a little bit older than you they're in their masculine energy whether they are a woman or a man we have the world card this person could be a foreigner or they travel the world or they are um, accomplished so who has their eyes on you we have the four of swords but it came out in reverse it flipped over in reverse four of swords um maybe this person's going through i don't know why i heard a divorce so they're having their there's some sort of anxiety in their life four of cups yeah like there's some sort of um misfortune or unhappiness with the four of cups with them yeah they're going through it so who has their eyes on you yeah four of pentacles this person could be rigid or a stingy or a penny pincher i'm getting like they're also they could also be grumpy at times like you know who this person is it's not like a stranger we have the three of swords you may have rejected this person in the past or there's some sort of rejection or heartbreak. It could be you who rejected this person or they've been rejected in their life by a spouse, by an ex-lover. But I'm getting like this person is still heartbroken over their last person. So they may be like, they have their eyes on you, but at a distance. Yeah, nine of wands, they are wounded. They've been through it. They've been through war. Um, emotionally they could be exhausted but I feel like um, them keeping their eyes on you them thinking about you is giving them hope or keep giving them strength to keep going who has their eyes on you yeah this is somebody who walked away from a situation eight of cups I'm also getting like for some of you not for all of you some of you it could have been somebody that you dated but they walked away from you with the eight of cups because they were not ready to um commit they were not ready for the type of relationship the type of love that you were willing to give and they had to walk away but i feel like they're still keeping tabs on you keeping their eyes on you and they're healing this is somebody who's healing from a heartbreak from a separation from a divorce from a loss this is what I'm getting here. This is, yeah, like somebody who walked away from something that no longer serves them and they're trying to heal. Yeah, this person was married at one point in time with the hero font or what it was in a serious relationship. And I feel like when you guys initially met, they, they had just broken up with that person. So they were not emotionally ready for you. But they still have their eyes on you, though. They're still thinking about you, thinking about what it would be like to be in a connection with you. But they feel like it wouldn't be fair to you if they came, yeah, two swords, okay? Indecision, they're all in their head. They're contemplating, but they're not ready. This person's not ready to make a move, okay? So who has their eyes on you? Yeah, we have the king of swords. This person could have air in their chart. We do have Gemini here with the magician, but they could also have Libra or Aquarius in their chart. But this is somebody, yeah, they, they're not ready for a relationship. They're not ready for love. This is why they're keeping their distance from you. They're trying to heal themselves from their heartbreak because I'm getting like this person is going through it. I keep saying that, but this is what I'm seeing here as well. Four swords in reverse. They're healing from anxiety or depression because whatever situation that they were in before really drained them we have the four of cups like this is also giving me a situation where maybe at one point in time they had a chance to choose you and someone else and they chose someone else and now they're they're seeing that it was a mistake not for all of you but for some of you that could be it but we have three of swords this person has some sort of heartbreak so who has their eyes on you yeah we have the queen of cups yeah this person's highly intuitive very sensitive um i feel like this person cries a lot at night yeah i feel like there's some okay you know what i'm getting like some sort of regret yeah ten of wands this person's burden 
I'm really getting like this person that has their eyes on you. This could be for like maybe 60% of you watching who picked pile number two. This person had the chance to choose you and someone else and they made the wrong choice. They chose the, they choose the other person. Maybe they felt like this person had something more than you. It could be something tangible like money status or something like that, but it wasn't the right choice. Like whoever they picked was not with them for the right reasons. Okay, and they got, I feel like what I'm getting is like they got, uh, I don't know why I heard pinch. This is what I'm getting here. Like the, this person got nipped, okay? You know when you like clip your nails and you get nipped and then you start bleeding? This is what I'm getting here. This person, like basically they got hit by that bullet. You know when they say you dodge a bullet because you escaped some sort of situation? This person did not. I feel like financially, emotionally, this connection, whoever they were with, drained them. And now they have their, like, they're, they're keeping their eyes on you. But I feel like even in the connection that they were, they always had their eyes on you. So it's like, um, emotionally, in their heart, intuitively, they knew they were making the wrong decision. But I don't know why they still went for that person. Yeah, they're experiencing a tower. Okay, this person's having a hard time. They made the wrong choice. They made a decision. They went somewhere and now they could be fighting for their life. Seven of Wands, this person. Some of you, you may have blocked this person too after you find out. Like, I'm gonna, like, maybe some of you may have found out that this person got married when you guys were still talking. Like, you were still in communication with this person and you find out that they were either that they were getting married or they got married and you're like, what? And then you like maybe block them after that. That's what I'm getting. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, you see guys, I can't make it up. Seven of Swords came out in reverse. Somebody who was lying, cheating, uh, being deceptive. Like they never told you that they were, they were already seeing someone else. They already had someone else. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, they feel like it's a missed opportunity with you. Four of Cups. Yeah, they know that. So I feel like this person could only like have their eyes on you, watch you from afar. Um, they want to heal and come back, but it's up to you if you want to take this person back. Because for some of you, this person was being deceptive from the beginning. So who has their eyes on you? Yeah, we have this King of Wands, very attractive um, woman or man. Emperor energy, boss-like energy. I feel like whoever they chose over you um, is somebody who had some sort of status, who made them look good, who like maybe this person looked good on paper. There was something good about the other person that this person felt like you lacked. And now they're looking back at you. Now they're like, I feel like they're, they're watching you to see how they could come back, how they could apologize. Like I said, some of you may have blocked this person. Um, they're definitely in, um, indecisive about how they're going to approach the situation. We have the King of Swords. This person's all in their head. They're trying to find um, a way to contact you again. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, Seven of Cups. This person may have had options. Yes, well, definitely because if they had someone else and they had you, they had options. Okay. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, we have the chariot cancer energy this is somebody who is always on the go they may travel for work yeah king of swords this person definitely has air in their chart yeah um you know what i'm also getting this person may have been distant from you like hot and cold energy this is what i'm getting from this person one minute they're in one minute they're out and that's because they had someone else. And now that um, some of you, not all of you, this person may have had someone else or this person had just broken up with someone else when you guys met. So it's two scenarios. Take it how it resonates with you. This person either, and that's the reason why they had to move away from you. They had to um, remove themselves from the equation because they were not ready. And some of you, you caught them. Like you found out that they were getting married or they were married already to someone else. Okay, who has their eyes on you? Yeah, this person sees you as wish fulfillment. I'm getting like a lot of you, this person wish they have met you first. 
Wow, I don't know if you guys heard that confirmation in the background. This person felt like they wished they would have met you first with the Nine of Cups. You came into this person's life when they were extremely vulnerable. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, this person wants to communicate with you, Eight of Wands. And like I said, this is somebody who travels for work, somebody who's always on the go. Um, somebody who's always um, doing things like um, going to different places, Eight of Wands, but also traveling, excitement. They have a lot of things going on as well at once. So this is why this person feels overwhelmed. Who has their eyes on you? Guys, page of swords. This person's watching you like a hawk. Watching you online. Even if you block them, this person has like some sort of other account. Business account that they're watching you from. But they have a means to keep their eyes on you, to keep tabs on you. This is what I'm getting here with the page of swords. Um, I did say that I really feel like this person has air in their chart. So this person could be a lot in their head. Like... Even when you used to spend time with this person or talk to them, they would they always seem preoccupied or like be in another world. This is what I'm getting here with the Page of Swords. Wow, guys, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is the truth, guys. Okay. So we're gonna be using the Astro Dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be. So who has their eyes on you, my pal number two? Who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? Wow, guys, didn't I see air, Gemini, and we have magician. Uh, this is the sixth house, so a uh, Virgo's house. And this is, uh, no, that's, yeah, Pluto. Okay, so they have um, Gemini either in sixth house or Gemini in Pluto, okay? All right, so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked the blue dog figurine and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? We have chariot, the chariot. Cancer energy. This person could be at a distance from you. Um, I'm getting this person is strong will, dedicated. This person could also be a boss, a CEO. So, who has their eyes on you? Wow, okay, we have the Nine of Cups. This person always gets what they want. We have the Six of Pentacles. This person is also very um, generous with their time, with their resources. And we have Judgment. This person could, uh, I'm getting like, they could be a lawyer, 
it could be a judge or their parents like one of their parents is a lawyer or is a judge but i'm getting like this person is a great judge of character this is somebody that you know um i'm getting like you guys are fairly acquainted um i'm getting like you guys met at some sort of um gathering get together uh celebration i'm also getting this is somebody that you could have met at a friend's party okay i'm getting like also this person might be a couple of years older than you and you know what i'm also getting like these are channel messages that i'm getting this person i don't know why i'm getting like red hair they may have red hair so who has their eyes on you we have the four of swords this person's calm cool and collected with the four of swords um maybe sometimes their head is in the uh, clouds because they may be thinking a lot about what they want to do next or they may have a lot on their plate but i'm getting like i'm seeing somebody shaking hands with someone else like this person may have a lot of business deals yeah we have the ace of sources somebody who's extremely intelligent uh communicative i feel like you unlock this person's mind you made them think outside the box or there's some sort of conversation that you guys had that stayed with this person that stick with them with the ace of swords but this is somebody who is truthful they could also be a um i'm getting like they could also be a uh, public speaker we have the devil who has their eyes on you who has their eyes we have the ace of pentacles wow okay so this person with the devil and the ace of pentacles this person i'm getting like they're very alluring uh intoxicating there's something very like that draws you to this person but i'm also getting like intimidation they come off as very intimidating they have like a strong presence to them and it's powerful like that presence has some people shaking in their boots when they come around very strong like i'm getting like this person has um very um i don't know why i'm getting like sharp features i don't know if that makes sense guys but this is what i'm getting like this person has like um they also have there could be medium built and they're very tall like if they're a man they're tall and i'm getting like for the women like if it's a woman she's voluptuous so it makes other people uncomfortable like uh, they have this unique beauty about them and it's alluring it's drawing like every time like you stare at them like it's like oh my god like you get nervous but we have the ace of pentacles this is somebody who's financially stable yeah this is what i'm getting like knight of wands like you know what i i'm getting whenever there's couples around this person so let's say this person's uh, heterosexual and there are men other men feel intimidated in their presence because they're a women or their girl or their wife whatever they like to stare at this person they're very uh, appealing to the eyes okay this is what i'm getting here and the same thing for the women um, other women get intimidated by this woman because she's very like feminine like she has feminine qualities feminine attributes but also she's extremely alluring she exudes a sexual um energy okay very sexually uh appealing to the eyes as well not that she dressed provocatively not that she puts herself out there it's just the energy that she exudes and the same thing they have a sex appeal whether it's a woman or a man they have a sex appeal that people are drawn to but also intimidated by okay so if like i said there are homosexuals it's the same thing the same vibe so other women or other men feel threatened in their presence and um they get a lot of attention with the knight of wands so who has their eyes on you what do we have here we have page of swords but this person has their eyes on you <laughs> like they're studying you with the page of swords while everybody else is like uh looking at them they're looking at you and um i'm getting that, that rihanna song with calvin harris uh this is what you came for yeah this is what i'm getting here like all eyes like this person's watching you while everybody's watching them okay they're studying you 
This person is extremely patient. Seven of Pentacles. They, they, don't, they don't rush the process. This could also be somebody who's been single for a long time. Yeah, King of Cups. They're very emotionally in tune, emotionally intelligent, very wise as well. This is somebody who like people misjudge them because of their looks. They look very seductive, like the forbidden fruit. This is how this person looks because of the devil energy. But really, this person is very sweet, very nice. Um, like I said, you guys just recently met or you met at a party. So you don't know this person too well. So there's still a mystery to you. And so are you to them. And this person is drawn to you. Like this is somebody who's extremely picky too. Like they don't talk to just everybody. They don't chill with just everybody. Um, they may come off as a snob, but they're not. It's just like they're um, introvert and they're selective social. So they like to choose who they friends with and they're very like they have high standards and you fit the bill. This is what I'm getting here. Who has their eyes on you? Who has their eyes on you? Sorry, guys, it's a card that flipped over and it's the tower. OK, yeah, this person. Like I said, you're not really acquainted with them. You don't know them like that. You just met them maybe once or twice. But with the tower, once you get to know this person, because I feel like they're going to let their interest in you be known, you're going to see that this person, there is death to them with the tower. And it's unexpected because, I, like I said, this person may come, came, come off as a snob. So you wouldn't expect this person to even have their eyes on you or even like you like that. Who has their eyes on you? My pal number three. We have the four of cups. Yeah, this person may come off as bored or disinterested or just like, like that snobbish. I don't know why I keep saying like snob, but guys, this is the vibe I'm getting from this person. Like, you know, this is the type of person that whenever you talk to them, they may look like they have like this blank stare at you or like they just seem like their mind is somewhere else or they find you just so boring. But I feel like this is like this person's like they have this way about them that they protect their energy or protect themselves. But I feel like with you, it wasn't like that. Yeah. King of Swords. They may have like this stoic vibe to them, like just very stern but really they're the king of cups that's just the facade the king of swords is just a facade just the way that they seem on the exterior but in the interior they are the king of cups but they're this person is highly intelligent yeah emperor this is why people are intimidated by this person whether they are a woman or a man the emperor energy that boss energy that's what people are afraid of they they're extremely assertive who has their eyes on you? This is somebody who's extremely successful as well, especially when it comes to their business or their career. Who has their eyes on you? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Like I said, this person comes off as indifferent, but look, King of, King of Cups again. Yeah, King Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who is uh, business savvy. They do have this down to earth attitude to them too. Or like, I'm just getting like this person's cordial. Like when you talk to them, they smile, they nod their head, but they don't talk much. So that's another reason why some people are intimidated by them because they don't have, they don't have much to say. They rather just listen and observe. They're like a really good observer. So they may have Virgo in their chart, even though Virgo is not here. Uh, but I'm getting like they have that observant energy. So that intimidates people when they don't say anything. Who has their eyes on you? My pal. Number three. Yeah. Nida wants again, guys. They're extremely popular or like they're sought after. People want to get their attention. People are so drawn to them. With the Knight of Wands. Yeah, but Ace of Cups, this is somebody who, once you get to know them, you will see that they're genuine, they're very loving, but they're just selective. Like, you really have to earn this person's respect 
in order their love like you have to earn it they're not just going to give it to you freely it's not that they're rude or disrespectful i'm not getting that vibe at all this is just somebody they're going to be cordial to everyone but for you to know them in a deeper level you're going to have to earn it they're not going to just open up to you freely like that this is what i'm getting here this person is cautious okay who has their eyes on you yeah there's an air of mystery to them with pisces energy with the moon card extremely um into highly intuitive this is why i'm getting like they don't really like to chill with a lot of people or hang around a lot of people it's kind of hard for you to get this person out of their house once they get home they're comfortable home they don't like this is somebody who likes to rock alone solo dolo type of energy okay with the moon card and they, they have this air of mystery above them that's because they could see right through people they could feel people's energy so like when people have like weird energy towards them they like to retreat they like to stay quiet and just observe and not say much who has their eyes on you guys i'm telling you four of cups I'm telling you it seems like they're bored whenever they're around people or disinterested but really it's not even that they just don't like the vibe they don't like the energy around people especially if the people are phony or giving them the side eye this person is used to having people being intimidated by them or like feel threatened by their energy so this is why they don't really like to go out much but there's something about you that sparked this person's interest in you and that's why they have their eyes on you i'm also getting like this person could be a mutual friend like a friend of a friend or like your friend's cousin or your friend's sister's friend or something like that like there's like some sort of sixth degree of separation between you and this person so it's like not a direct contact it's in like indirect contact okay who has their eyes on you yeah we have the lovers gemini energy this person may have Gemini in their chart or you may have Gemini in your chart. But with the lovers, I'm getting like this person has a really good balance of feminine and masculine energy. They're very alluring. Okay. So who has their eyes on you? My pal, number three. Who has their eyes on you? Okay, just one card, please. Who has their eyes on you? Just one. Thank you. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody who is stable, financially stable, somebody who's abundant, um, somebody who's coming with a really nice offer. Wow, I don't know if you guys heard that confirmation, but this is somebody who's coming in with a really nice offer. If you allow them in, like I said, they may come off as a snob, but really this is somebody who's very sweet with the King of Cups okay so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so who has their eyes on you so it could be your sign or this person's sign okay who has their eyes on you Okay, so we have Sagittarius, Venus. So they may have Venus, in Sagittarius and Venus or 11th house, um, Sagitt um, Aquarius's house. Okay, or that could be you. All right. So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.